Well, what is going on, everybody? Um, so I just wanted to do a quick, like, no edit video on symptoms of COVID-19 and, I don't know, kind of my experience with feeling these symptoms. Uh, I will currently say that testing and learning and trying to find out how to get tested is very difficult. So I was on hold and trying to get calls back for about six or seven hours today. The thing is, if you don't have extreme severe um, symptoms, that's pretty much everybody's just telling you to wait it out. So I'm just going to quickly tell you uh, the process and exactly how I'm feeling and uh, we'll just go from there. So Wednesday, uh, the 18th of March is actually the last time I uploaded a video too. And uh, around 8 p.m. ish that night, uh, I could tell just a little bit of a, a rough throat. And I actually had thought that I had eaten too many graham crackers. I was like, oh, you know what? Just a couple too many graham crackers, uh, maybe a little bit of water and I'll be all right. So that was pretty much the extent of it that night. Just a slight dry cough, nothing really else besides that. Uh, Thursday morning, I woke up and had a slightly runny nose, pretty much what they tell you. Dry cough persisted. Uh, no fever. No fever. This is pretty much the one consistent thing. Uh, the body aches were also very new and real. So uh, starting in my pretty much my right hip, a pretty dull and annoying soreness, almost like, I don't know, you had gotten punched multiple times and it's just trying to heal. That was pretty consistent again right on that right hand side this is uh, again Thursday on the 19th um, I had uh, bruised my heel a few weeks back and that was a little bit more tender as well so just normal again body aches that's that's a big thing again consistent uh, dry cough and uh, uh, again that's Thursday so Friday this is the 20th I uh, wake up feel that same achiness uh, a little bit more sneezing but otherwise about the same no fever it really feels like, call it a normal cold. I've never really had this much fatigue and body fatigue, but again, it's, this is pretty much what it feels like to have, I would say, a normal-ish cold. Saturday was when it started getting a little bit different where uh, that, that soreness in my right hip uh, actually started to move. This sounds super strange, but it started to move and it moved more towards my entire lower back. And when I say lower back, I mean like it, it soreness and it just, it just felt again, almost like you'd been doing a bunch of, I don't know, deadlifts or whatever. Like you just, you're really sore in that, that lower back area. Um, and again, kind of body aches all over, but especially the lower back, uh, just this dull, annoying soreness, uh, phlegm is easily dislodged on, on this day. This was again, uh, Saturday. Joints are easily crackable. It sounds super weird, but like, I don't know if you guys ever have uh, or experienced like if you can like crack your knuckles or your fingers or anything like that, like just walking around my uh, ankles, my feet and toes and stuff like that are just kind of cracking and popping. Not like it hurts. It's just, you know, normal uh, cracking, but it's very easy to be done. Of course, th during this whole time, I've been doing my best to drink a bunch of water, drink and eat healthy as best I can, obviously staying away from everybody. Um, and, uh, again, just trying to follow the quarantine rules, if you will. Uh, that was Saturday and then Sunday body aching still, but less than it has been. So I'm recording this on Monday. So we're about, I don't know, five or six days from the initial, um, uh, feelings of symptoms, if you will. Sunday, uh, body was aching still a little bit less than it has been. Uh, and then this is the day I, I woke up take a shower every morning, try and remain as clean as possible. And I put some toothpaste on my toothbrush and started brushing my teeth. And I realized I couldn't taste the toothpaste. That was super weird. Like you can feel the toothpaste and you can feel that it like, might be kind of fresh, um, but can't taste it. And after that I had breakfast and same thing, can't taste anything. So this is the one that I was reading. Again, no fever throughout all these days. I've um, um, tried to, or not tried to, but uh, uh, taking my temperature and no fever. Always right at 98.6 or like maybe 98.9 one time. And I mean, that doesn't really even constitute it. So yeah, Sunday loss of smell and taste and 
that was one thing I was reading that might be a, a potential outlier that if you don't have the fever, you could potentially, you're going to miss out on the loss of um, anosmia. That's why I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. I think I learned that through Scrubs. Shout out Scrubs. Um, so that would be the one that was kind of strange and it's still persistent today. So this is shot on Monday, the 23rd. So this is day number two without smelling or tasting anything. And I put a bunch of hot sauce on some food and realized that even the hot sauce can't even, I mean, you can get a tiny bit of like, I don't know, tingling on your lips, but you can't taste anything else. It's super strange. So right now it really just feels like a, like a tightness in my sinus infection or sinus area. Not to say it's a sinus infection. I've never had one, but I would imagine that might be what it could be similar to. Um, but yeah, today is about the same. So the body aches from my lower back have actually moved up a little bit. So they're a little bit more in the middle of my back. And uh, um, again, the sinus area just feels like full. It doesn't feel clogged necessarily. Breathing is fine. Um, but more or less just that feeling of just of it being full, whatever that means. Um, cough is persistent still as well. Um, body aches, body shivers are a little bit more today. And, um, that, that's kind of frustrating. Just like you get, you get past one thing and it feels like it's like, oh, we're kind of coming to the end of it. And then some new thing creeps up, like not being able to taste or smell or whatever else. But besides that, all I can say is uh, listen to the CDC. Listen to anybody who tells you what to do in terms of like washing your hands, staying away from people, quarantining yourself. I mean, this is a legit thing. And um, I'm 26 and... From what everything I can read, it's, you know, it, it can be deadly to anybody, but it's usually people who have underlying conditions and uh, age as well. So all I would say is, again, wash your hands, stay safe, keep those around you safe. And if you're not experiencing any symptoms, keep it that way. So that's pretty much all I can say. Other than that, just been watching Seinfeld reruns. I've uh, been trying to drum up some more content for the page, of course and uh not working not uh not doing anything like that so yeah now it's just uh pretty much a waiting game and that's what i've realized being on on hold for doctors and anything like that is unless you have severe symptoms unless you have a severe case that they'll just say eh, well hang out you know stay away from people so that's all i can say is do just that and uh, take care of yourself thank you so much for watching as always we'll see you the next video. There's going to be more. See ya.